everyone, Katie Skook here with Simple Life Pattern Company, and we are on day three of our Laguna Sew Along. Thank you so much for watching our Laguna Sew Along. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at Simple Life Patterns. You can also post your progress pictures in our fan group at facebook.com slash groups slash SLPCO for a chance to win prizes. Today we are going to be piecing our skirts. Um, and depending if you are doing a simple skirt or if you're doing the pieced version or the pieced version with pockets, uh, we'll go over all that in today's video. So if you're doing the simple skirt, your job today is fairly easy. You're just going to take your two skirt pieces and place them right sides together. And you are going to sew or serge uh, down the side seams right here. If that's all you're doing, no pockets, no piecing or anything, you are done for today. Easy peasy. Uh, if you are adding pockets to your pieced skirt, we will go ahead and take our pocket piece right here. I have my square and I'm going to fold it directly in half. Let me get it a little bit better here. And I'm going to measure over one inch from this folded edge right here. This is my folded edge. Measure over one inch and sew down about an inch or so. Once you have that, you're going to, uh, with wrong side up, uh, you can kind of spread it open here at the top. It's not going to be a square anymore because we're creating this pleat going down. This pleat is there for a reason. Um, if you don't have this there when it's all sewn up and the skirt is gathered, that uh, pocket on the side panel will actually flop open. So that's why I have this pleat in the pattern. So once you have that, you're going to take your center fold mark right here. It's kind of, I have like a little crease right there. I'm going to take that and I'm going to kind of push that down and uh, line it up right along my stitch line. And then you can uh, finger press this or iron whatever you want. Just iron that in place, just like that. So when you flip it over, you now have this beautiful little uh, pleat going down the center of your pocket. Um, now we have to add our ruffle. So the first thing that you wanna do is take your ruffle piece and you're gonna fold it wrong sides together and sew a gathering stitch along the raw edges through both layers. Once you do that, you're gonna gather it um, to be about the same width as the top of your pocket. Once that is the same width, you can go ahead and begin to pin it to your the top of your pocket. Um, I like to start by pinning the two corners and then I go into a little bit more uh, adjusting of the ruffles to make sure that they're nice and even and distributed um, evenly. So once you have that, continue adjusting until you have it exactly the way you want it. And pin it in place. Then you can go to your sewing machine and sew the ruffle and the pocket piece together using a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. Then you'll have this pretty little pocket. You can flip your seam down and you will go and top stitch the ruffle uh, with the seam pushed down now so the ruffle pops up, you will go and top stitch one eighth of an inch from the edge. You'll do this with both pocket pieces. Now we're going to get ready to attach this to our panel. So I'm going to go do my top stitching and I'll be right back. Okay, we're going to start piecing our paneled skirt together. Um, I am using four different prints, so I have two of each because we need a total of eight panels. So I'll have them go in this order, and then number five, we'll start with the yellow again. Uh, panels one and five, we're gonna call those our side pocket panels. I know I want my pockets to end up on my yellow panels, so that's why they're in this order. So we're gonna go ahead and take our pocket piece and pin the two corners down uh, at the bottom to hold those in place because the pocket is the same width at the bottom, but as we get uh, closer to the top because of this pleat that we did. Let me scoot over a little bit. Because of this pleat that we did, um, it's going to be a lot more narrow and it's going to cinch our panel in a little bit as we're um, basting it. And that is so the pocket is not floppy later on. So once you have those, then you can come up and pin this side right here. And you can go ahead and baste that with a, about a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And then you can come and uh, baste the other side as well, um, pinning this right here. So then you'll have your two sides basted for your pocket, which will look like this. 
and you can see it kind of pulls it in, which is just fine. So once we have our pockets attached to our two panels, we are then gonna start sewing um, all of our pieces into one long strip. So I'm gonna go ahead to my serger and I'm gonna take this one and lay them right sides together. And I'm gonna go ahead and sew and serge down this side. Then I'll open it up and I'll come grab this one and add this. And I'm gonna do this until all eight of my pieces are together. So I'll be back. Okay, I have all my eight panels pieced together into one long strip here. All I'm gonna do now is bring this one over onto this one and you can put a couple pins in and um, sew this side together so that everything is um, all sewn together into a continuous loop. So I'll be right back. Okay, I went ahead and surged my pieces together. So now I have a continuous loop here. You can turn it right side out and get a good look at what your skirt's gonna kind of look like. I have my two yellow panels as the side with the cute little pockets. Everything's sewn in right there. Now, um, what you can do, this is completely optional, but uh, for a more professional looking finish, you can go and top stitch um, each one of these. Just push them all to one side and top stitch them in place. Um, when you do the pockets though, they do have to be pushed in towards the center. So that way you don't have to um, top stitch the ruffle and everything backwards. So top stitch those towards the center and these ones can go whichever direction you want. And then we are gonna go ahead and skip to a separate video for day three, which is gonna be um, inserting a placket into the skirt. So I will see you over in the other video.